Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Roy from Rammer Time, and welcome back to Satisfactory Version 1.0. This is my pl new playthrough through V1, and um, it's been going good. If you saw in the last video, we just got this power station up and running, which is running on coal. Pretty efficient little system, running off two pure nodes, powering 16 coal generators, which is giving me around about 1,200 megawatts of power, which is plenty for the the kind of the late early game you could almost say and yeah it's uh, it's all going well so we need to go back to the uh, the main base and unlock some stuff because we should have enough gear for that but just before i do i've just found this right near the power station there is a normal criterium node as well as an iron and i'm pretty sure that we can do something with having those two right next to one another here. So it might be that I actually set up something quite elaborate over here. Oh, there's a Mercer Sphere, look. And what I'll do is I will get a, um, a steel foundry set up as well as um, something to deal with uh, 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 quick wire. Quick wire, you, you can make quite a lot of quite easily. Whoa, easy now. There we go. Right. Where is he? <laughs> right, and now after that little bit of excitement, we're going to head back. And welcome back to my factory. I have now five Mercer Spheres. That's pretty good going. Get rid of some other junk that we don't need. Don't actually need to do this anymore, but I like to do it anyway. Where's my wood? It just keeps it topped up and it saves wasting it. Yeah, we've got, got a ton of power find a way to stabilize this at some point but it's fine right so let's see what we need to be getting done so has the fuse has just gone again I don't know what's wrong I since I put more fuel in there but hardly anything's actually doing anything so I'm really not sure oh this is gonna take some investigation isn't it because everything seems to be running and we're nowhere near the maximum we should be able to use is 600 we're only using 250 of that the maximum we could potentially use is 1200 Although that's up and down. Maybe I've got an issue with one of my water pipes. I'll have to have a look. But we'll come back to that. So, vehicular transport. Let's get this one unlocked. Right, so we put in those. Those, 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 and those. And baboosh! Milestone reached. Tractors permit pioneers to move around the world in a manner similar to using legs, except with wheels and the rampant consumption of natural resources. They can also be automated to self-drive and deliver resources between truck stations, which in turn facilitate automation of loading, unloading, and refueling. Okay, so we have our truck, so that's going to be so much fun. We can actually uh, start building roads and getting all of that stuff going. Uh, we've got this, the basic steel, we're going to need this. We only need 50 of those though, so that's a fair amount of effort. Blueprints, yeah, we're going to need a ton more of those. I think everything inside of tier 4 is going to need, yeah, some steel related stuff. And I haven't got a huge amount. I found a couple of bits and pieces with a drop pod, so I've only got 40 of them. I've got 16, yeah. No, so we need to concentrate on what we're doing for now. Alright, let's get this one on the road then not quite once again nearly right here we go the boosh milestone reached coal and iron can be combined in the foundry to start steel production project part number two the versatile framework can only be created via automation not at a crafting bench Delivering these to the space elevator is essential if we are going to complete phase two of project assembly and save the day. Fix it and humanity is relying on you. Save the day. Right, so that's basically all I can do until I get my steel factory up and running. But we have a quick mission to go and do. I've been wanting to find out what this is all about. And I haven't yet, so it's annoying. But I found something over here that I have tagged and we're going to go and head towards it right now. And it's this little bad boy over here.
The Summer Sloop was named after Marie Somerville, co-founder of Fix-It and head of its R&D department. There are many theories about the origin of this shape and why this symbol mathematically resembling a Mobius strip has found its way to both human and extraterrestrial culture. Thankfully, you don't need to know any of these theories to be a pioneer. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Fun fact. The planet you are on was found and named during a planet spotting event Marie hosted named, Marie's awesome scientific search of the avant-garde exoplanets. Well, there you go. I have a summer suit now. So I need to take, take this back and put it through to MAM, but I just spotted this uh, crash site, so I thought I would just grab what I can from it. I've already grabbed it. Oh. <laughs> Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy... Loving energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities <laughs> to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so now I've got a bit of a dilemma because I'm going to start setting up the iron, uh, iron, the steel foundry over there, and I'm going to also make a road that drives up there and allows my uh, some tractors to go backwards and forwards. So it's gonna be quite a bit of work just to put down all the foundations and everything, but it's fine. However, I'm gonna have a bit of a problem in that I didn't future-proof my mini mall at all. My mini mall is pretty rubbish, as in, I can't do anything with it. It's, it's gonna be completely stuck there. So I had to expand by going up above, which isn't very good because now I can't see what's in this one, even though I know it's these. But it's not very good to have two tiers. I mean, really? I suppose it doesn't really matter, I guess. I've got LED signs, actually. I could make signs. No, do you know what? It's fine. I really should do something about this. But, um, yeah. No, the main focus now is going to be to get the foundry up and running and to get the, uh, the trucks moving stuff backwards and forwards. So I've got to go over there, do a bit of maths, figure out what I'm going to do, and then start building a, a foundry system. Yeah. Let's do, let's do that next. Okay, well, I've been a very busy little boy here. I've built a little steel mill. Um, it's not super, super fast or efficient. Well, it's fairly efficient, but it, it won't be super, super fast, but it will turn over. And as I'm doing other stuff, it will generate what I need to sort of start heading into the mid game. And it's kind of future proof for Mark III belts, but come, let's go and have a look. We've also done some paving. This is ready for our road. So underneath here, we have this little kind of garage area which is going to be for the tractors to take the steel pipes and the steel beams that are being made here it'll take them off back to the main base for me down that road there I've done a test it's not actually working properly at the moment because for some reason the tractor even though it's saying driving is just staying at the main base so I don't know why that is so need to have a look and fix that but just down here we've got a mark 1 miner which is overclocked and this belt is currently a Mark II because I haven't unlocked Mark III's, but it's ready for Mark III. So this will put out 270, uh, which will fill a Mark III belt up. And then we've got an iron coming in from over the back there. And then basically that goes up into the first floor. So let's head up to the first floor. And up here is the smelter setup. Now this is designed to be at the front of the building so I can kind of make it look pretty slick. It should look pretty good if you sort of stand over here and look at it. You'll you'll sort of you'll see everything kind of going up and lots of movement, so it should look quite cool. Obviously the the structure is is not complete yet. I need to do plenty to make it look pretty, but I, again, I'm waiting till I've unlocked more stuff. And yeah, it's it's quite a straightforward setup to get the stuff in there. I think it looks pretty slick. I like it. I think it looks good. Made a lot easier now with the straight snapping. And here, here's a here's a quick tip for you. So this belt here. So with straight mode selected, if I start here, you see how it drops straight away. Now that's exactly what I want. However, if I'd have started here, you see how it puts the the drop at the start, and that's the difference. Depending on where you you which side you come from depends on where it will put the drops. So obviously, that I wouldn't want. It would look a little bit funky. Whereas that is exactly what I want. It matches the rest and is perfect. And that's where this straight. Um, build mode is so so good the stuff from up above is gonna come past here but let's go up and see what we're making upstairs 
Again, it's pretty straightforward, but it's future-proofed a little bit. So, what we've got. So, the four of the smelters will merge here and create a flow into these three constructors, which are creating our steel beams. And across all of that, that should actually uh, produce somewhere around about 60 a minute. And then over here, we have our uh, pipes, which is using two of the smelters which will produce 40 a minute. Now, if the uh, these get backed up, because these get make, made pretty quickly, but if these get backed up, I can actually send any overflow from this little system into this little system. So I've got all kind of way to load balance where I want the more stuff being produced. So it's just set up and ready and waiting for that. And I've come to a little bit of a problem. Okay, I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna overcome this yet. Basically, there's a giant dirty great rock on my iron ore node that I hadn't noticed for some reason. And I need to blow that up before I can uh, do anything here. Here's the problem. I haven't got enough stuff to unlock that yet. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, da, 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 sulfur, sulfur. So I need a bunch of sulfur. And then I'm gonna need a bunch of steel pipes. <laughs> so I've got a, <laughs> would you believe I've got a bit of a, a vicious circle problem here. I need the steel pipes to explode the boulder, but I need to explode the boulder to make the steel pipes. This is a real nightmare. I'm gonna have to run from somewhere else, which is such a shame. Um, now there's a couple more in this direction. I mean, it's not too bad, but it just means I'm gonna have to run a long, long way. And there's a load of radioactive material. It's getting very green over here. There's quite a lot of angry boys over there, which are now gonna probably start on me. I'm gonna to have to clear all of this. Ah, oh, so I've still got actually quite a lot of work to do before I can even just power it on. Oh man. A few moments later. Right, well, it's not pretty, but I've managed to get a line in from all the way over there. It comes down here and it goes around the back here and in and this is enough to get us started and I can definitely clean this up a bit later so now all that is left is to go and connect the one wire that in theory should start it all if I connect this to this everything should liven up okay so we do have power up here the foundries are ready the coal is working its way up and that will come out of here at any minute. There it comes. Oh, look at that, look. I'm not quite sure why that's like that. I guess it's something to do with the way I've made the belt, but we'll worry about that later. I think the iron will probably take quite some time to get here, to be honest. It's got it's got a little way to go. I'm wondering though, if I should just double check that it definitely has got power. <laughs> There's someone that's got real anger issues up here as well. Let's just check, because if this pole's got power, then that means, yeah, so there's power here. It's all over the place, look, still. Just figure that out. It might be a water issue. I will look at that at some point. Here it comes. I just saw it. Okay, good. So once it starts heading its way down this belt here, which you can't see because of my parachute, that means that it will get there. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait till I unlock the jetpack. <laughs> Excuse the weird sounds. There's a, a bin lorry outside. Right, I'm falling off again. That's why I want the jetpack. Right, here it comes. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> I miss the fast belts as well. We'll get there. We're not far. We're going to unlock something in a minute, I'm sure. Because we'll start making stuff. Hee <laughs> hee. So this guy here is now filling up. And it's alive. That's the first piece of steel ingot being made. And there it goes. So that's heading up. I know that people that, you know, have played a lot of this game. This isn't that exciting. But I'm starting again, you know... And I've gone from, I don't know how many hundreds of hours in here, uh, right up to nuclear power, to uh, starting from the beginning again. So it's just quite exciting. And that's stopped. Why has that stopped? What's the problem? I haven't actually told it what to do. I don't blame it. <laughs> uh, this guy here. No power. I suppose it helps if I do actually connect it. There we go. So we've got some coming along here. So they're going in there. So in theory, there's my first steel pipes. Excellent. Where are my steel beams? Where are my steel beams? See, I haven't got smart splitters or anything like that. So just for the time being, all I'm doing is basically filling up the tractor transport. There it is. The first one. 
Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to take a little while to fill this, back this machine up. So basically, just because it creates them so slowly, all that happens is it's just going to go into here. Tractor's going to collect it and take it back to the main base and put it in a bin for me. And it's it's not going to be quick, but there he, there it goes. But we're not in a hurry. I had to do this because of the fact that I'd already built the uh, the tractor station before I built those, and yeah, it's fine. Normally that's all hidden. So now we need to figure out why the tractor isn't working. Yeah, so this this tractor, I, I, he's gone a bit nuts. I don't I don't know what I don't know what's up with it. It just keeps doing that. But the root is there. But I'm just wondering if it's is it missing a a node? I'm, I'm genuinely I'm confused. But what's it doing? I did notice that I haven't powered up this yet. So that might be something to do with it. Oh, hello. That looks like that was something to do with it. Okay, so that is now sorted and he is heading back. So let's follow him. So he is going to go and collect our first lots of... Um... Oh, I can actually just stand on it. <laughs> ah, no, come back, come back. <laughs> it's going to go and collect our first lots of... Um... Oh, oh dear. First lots of steel pipes and steel tubes. Now he's getting away, look. Oh, he's stuck. Let's try that again. Oh, oh dear. Try it. So yeah, the idea is that uh, that's the out and this is the in, so that the tractors can head round this way. I'm probably going to have another truck stop specifically for the coal, uh, to take coal back. But for the time... Look out, Bean! Oh dear. Oh, so they've they've drastically in increased the mass of the beans now, because it used to just take them out. Now it just... Oh no, he's gone nuts. Where, where are you going? Your crazy tractor, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, I finally got on the top. So... <laughs> so, it's going to come and it's going to put it, my, the box in. It kind of missed, but it'll do. It should wait for about five seconds before then heading off. It did actually take... Yeah, look at that, look. It took quite a bit. Excellent. And that's now going to head back to the main base and drop that stuff off for me. And then by the time it gets back, it will collect some more stuff and so on. And that will just keep going. I might, at some point, I might stick a second tractor just to double up how quickly it brings stuff over, but I don't think it's producing enough to really warrant two tractors. Aha! So my little doggo friend is is just here. Let's see if he's found anything. No. So it turns out, apparently, there is at least one or two people that are actually watching these videos, which is always obviously very nice. So, Ordalon if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, has suggested that we go with Spike. What a fitting name for a funny looking thing. Bless you. And here we can see the stuff is starting to come in. Whoa, easy now. We've got our steel beams over there and then we've got all these pipes here. So, because I don't have any kind of clever smart splitters or anything, I, I can't divide them up yet, but I'll get that at some point and be able to do that. I'll divide them up so that they go into their own separate bins because I think the pipes are going to be pretty heavy for the time being. But they're coming in. So once they uh, once they get in and fill, start filling this up, uh, we can actually unlock some more stuff. And obviously the key things here are the blueprints, which is going to be really helpful with building moving forward because I can obviously build the contraptions ahead of time and then just kind of spam them out, which is nice. Uh, they've also, I understand, they've upgraded this to 5x5 five five rather than 4x4. Four four, so I always had trouble. It always seemed to be one pixel out. So I think that's going to make a massive, massive difference. Um, also, obviously, Mark III belts, which we needed in order to get more stuff out of... Um, that, that new factory. Uh, then we've got the encased uh, beams that's in the advanced steel production along with the minor Mark IIs which will allow us to up all the, the automation as well. And obviously that's the space elevator parts. Then we've got this one where we'll have to actually start in creating the encased industrial beams. And that gives us power towers and power storage which again is, is kind of useful and cool. And then hyper tubes which is a much nicer way of getting around um, rather than keep running backwards and forwards. So all of these things are all things yeah, we just need to unlock them. It's just, in all fairness, a case of waiting for this bin to fill up so that we can actually unlock the stuff. But it is, it is slowly getting there. So we're really not very far. Yeah. 
Look at that. Look. Yeah, it's all. Oh, look at that. It's all coming up Millhouse. Oh, I love it. Brilliant. Yeah, but look, my tractors are coming in well good for me. And you know what? I think I might prioritise. Um, where are you? Uh, I might prioritise these little bad boys here. Um, smart splitters. So that I can uh, divide stuff up a little bit better. In order to get that, I'm going to need 300. Uh, 200 quick wire to create the AI limiters uh, and then I can unlock that and to be honest that's not actually going to be that difficult to do so that's going to be a priority in the next episode we're going to do smart splitters and we're going to unlock all of these in the next episode which means that we are then good to go to start automating the parts for the space elevator and we'll be able to unlock the next phase of the space elevator which will open up even more stuff meaning that we're then going to be well into the mid game and we can start doing some really cool exciting stuff with that i just want to say thank you very much for joining me today i really hope you enjoyed the episode if you did remember like button also subscribe and click the bell lovely stuff thank you very much and i'm looking forward to the next one i'll see you there bye for now